Also new tonight, today the football team at Trinity College welcomed its newest player. Yes, but you won't exactly catch him on the gridiron next season. Instead, as Channel 3's Shante Passmore explains, he will impact the team in a very meaningful way. Shante? She's live at Trinity tonight. Dennis and Denise, Evan St. Amand is the newest and youngest player. The 14-year-old is battling a serious illness, but as you're about to learn, he's not letting it stop him. All right, put your signature right there. Just like that, Evan St. Amand signed his letter of intent. He's the newest Bantam at Trinity College. <laughs> He's not drafted because of his speed or record. It's because he knows a thing or two about perseverance. He's battling mitochondrial disease. I think just a, a lesson in life, just how to carry yourself overall, you know, don't focus all on the negatives, be very positive. The illness forces him to use an IV for most of the day, but here he won't have to think about that so much as he experiences a new brotherhood. In return, the team can teach St. Amand camaraderie. He's going to be in our locker room and he'll be at all our games. He's already come over and had a campus tour with our players. The jerseys and tour of the locker room make it official. He's a bantam. And this is made possible by the group Team Impact across the country. It pairs kids like St. Ahmad and college teams where they can grow and learn from each other. Reporting live from Trinity College in Hartford, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.